creepy things Alexa has said. So today we're going to talk about Alexa and some creepy ass shit that's come out of her mouth. But before I get started, this video was made strictly for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video should be considered factual. This video is 100% speculation. It's my opinions, my thoughts. Therefore, everything listed in this video should be considered as speculation. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and say that I'm an actress and I'm practicing my movie lines. Hopefully that's good enough. Now let's get into it. Alexa, why can't I buy Skittles in Europe? Skittles, as well as Pop-Tarts, Gatorade, and Little Debbie's products have been banned in the European Union because they contain Yellow 5, Yellow 6, and Red 40 food dyes. Alexa, why is Yellow dye dangerous in food? Here's something I found on thehealthsite.com. It is not only highly toxic to the liver but also known to cause kidney lesions and is a probable carcinogen. Alexa, why are so many carcinogens found in so many processed foods in the United States? From tasteofhome.com, processed foods tend to contain saturated fats and loads of sodium while processed meats are known carcinogens and can be age-producing. All right, let's try it this way. Alexa, what are some of the reasons why U.S. foods are banned in other countries? U.S. foods are banned in other countries because they contain harmful additives, growth promoters, and genetically engineered ingredients, which are known to cause diseases and health conditions. American foods are tainted with harmful ingredients, which are banned internationally, and are designed to satiate the unaware American appetite. Alexa, why are Pop-Tarts dangerous? Some health risks commonly associated with eating too much Pop-Tarts may include increasing the risk of cancer, diabetes, obesity, hypertension and heart diseases, causing weight gain, dehydration, inflammation, tooth decay, hyperactivity, and fatigue. The list, though? <laughs> Alexa, how do food producers in the U.S. use deceptive labeling practices? Deceptive packaging includes exaggerating package contents through subtle design, using misleading labeling, or describing size in misleading terms. She said it, not me. Alexa, why do cuts of meat look so big as of recently? Meat processors use enzymes to bind smaller cuts of beef and pork, allowing them to form larger, consistently sized, and uniformly shaped steaks. This process, known as enzymatic beefification, has come under recent scrutiny for its impact on food safety and quality. While the practice may enhance the appearance and appeal of meat products, consumers should be aware of the potential trade-offs in terms of taste, texture, and nutrition. Further research is needed to fully understand the implications of enzymatic beefification and its effects on the overall eating experience. Alexa, are chicken nuggets mostly fillers? Most chicken nuggets are made with pieces of white meat, but unfortunately, they also contain a lot of other filler ingredients that aren't as healthy. Well, not really much of a surprise there, if you ask me. All right, last one. Alexa, how many diseases can food additives and preservatives cause? Food additives and preservatives are known to cause health dangers such as lymphoma, seizures, diabetes, migraines and multiple sclerosis. Parkinson's, mental confusion, Alzheimer's, nausea and fibromyalgia are other known dangers of food additives and preservatives. The list of food additive dangers goes on to include headaches, dizziness, chronic fatigue, anxiety attacks and emotional disorders. Again with the fucking list though, dude. Wake up, America. We're literally eating poison. And worse, we're paying for it. Don't believe any of this? Go ask Alexa yourself. Or just do your own research. Either one will work. Either one will give you the truth. Let me know what you thought about this sickness in the comments. And as always, make sure you're following us for more videos just like this.